up guys uh, heading out on a little road trip today we're gonna be doing a trip that I've been wanting to do for a little while and I want to take Sarah and my girls and uh, but I kind of want to run do a reconnaissance bit uh, reconnaissance mission on it and uh, make sure it's even worth taking them on I've been wanting to do it for a long time um, I'm not going to tell you exactly what we're doing yet. Um, I'll have to let you see that. But, as I said the other day in that short little video I made, um, I'm also going to show you today how to make what I call trash bag twine out of garbage bags. And, uh, or like Publix bags or Lowe's bags or whatever. And, um, and I said that you could find those things virtually anywhere and that's the truth um, it's unfortunate you know we we create so much garbage it's ridiculous and then I mean how often have you seen somebody have something fly out of the back of their vehicle and just keep riding you know stop and pick up your garbage man if you go somewhere and go fishing something that I've noticed almost everywhere if you buy a cup of worms take your freaking cup back with you put it in the garbage it's not that hard i mean you go out there you see everything from worm cups to you know old fishing line to i mean old hook uh containers or or things that old that hooks came in baby diapers if you change your baby's diaper, take the dang thing with you. That's disgusting. Nobody wants to see that. I don't know. That's sorry. I mean, I'm ranting a little bit right there. Um, but it's the truth. Um, but I'm going to turn this camera around. And just keep your eye out for old bags that might be on the side of the road. Just all this garbage. Um, but I just, I'm gonna just show you how easy it is to come across an old, like, Winn-Dixie bag or garbage bag or something like that on the side of the road. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip this camera around and uh, I'll be back in just a second.
Now I know what a lot of you guys are gonna say, well, this is not the wild, this is along the side of the road, which is true. Um, but I guarantee you, if you go anywhere, there's always gonna be human garbage. That it's just a fact, it's unfortunate, but it's a fact. Everywhere there's human garbage. Any body of water you go to is gonna have trash around it, unless it's, you know, heavily cleaned and uh, a park service or something like that that keeps it clean, which, you know, that's nice. But in a situation where, let's say, you know, the SHTF happens, or you find yourself in a survival situation where you have to provide your own fishing line or your own cordage, this is going to come in handy. And here in a few minutes, I'm going to show you exactly how that works. So stick with me. I realize I just said SHTF like everybody knows what I'm talking about. Um, for you preppers out there and stuff like that, you guys know what I'm talking about. But for those of you who don't really get into that stuff, let's just say when the crap hits the fan, um, or when the grid goes down, or you know, economic collapse, or societal collapse, or whatever, um, that's basically what the SHTF stands for. I'm using the word crap because I'm not going to say the other word on camera. But, let's just say when the crap hits the fan, that's what SHTF stands for. I just thought I'd clear that up just in case. I said we're going on a road trip. I wasn't kidding. We got about an hour and 45 minute drive to get where we're going to start at. So, time to find some music. And, uh, enjoy this drive. That ain't it. Here's what you're saying about I had to turn the radio off. The channel kept going in and out and I don't even know why I try the radio anymore when I've got my Spotify. I can listen to just the things I want to listen to without having to go through all the commercials and all that stuff. listen to this music and uh, I'll get back with you here in just a little while. Stones, especially somewhere like um, Espanola where I'm just coming into um, that's supposedly it's like a they call it a ghost town Espanola um, and we're gonna hopefully see some of that pretty soon but I want to walk around in this uh, cemetery here and see if I can find some of the old headstones this cemetery was established in 1875 so uh, I'm walk around in here and see what we can find I 
I just ran across something here that's pretty interesting um, to me, and it's something that I've never encountered before. Now, I'm no expert on graveyards, but I was always told that the graves are generally um, placed east to west because for Christians we believe that you know Jesus will come back um, through the eastern sky or you know I know that's kind of maybe that's not the the most correct way to say it but I think you know what I mean they normally place their feet to the east so your face would be looking towards the eastern sky and as you can see all of these graves are facing towards the east until you get over here now these graves are facing the opposite direction as are these graves and this I mean it's just odd to me and maybe somebody can help me out with this but as you can see these are facing the opposite direction they're facing the west and see these graves right here are back facing the east so maybe it's not a big deal it just it's odd to me I haven't seen that before I thought that was kind of interesting maybe somebody can help me out in the comments and give me a little insight on that I don't know we're gonna look around a little more Alright guys, so we made it here. Um, this is something I've been wanting to do for a long time. I have a little adventurous streak in me. I like history. Um, I like going to see things that are old, historic things. And I like having a, a chance to be a part or kind of take part in something that's old and historic. Um, I guess I get that from my dad you know dad he was big on taking us on adventures and stuff like that so um, and he loved an adventure so um, what we what I have done is I've come down here this is um, a historic this is old Dixie Highway this is just north of Bunnell Florida um, right outside a town called Espanola, Florida. Um, what this is, this is a 10 mile stretch. Um, this road was originally um, built in the early 1900s. Um, it was built for um, a stretch between Flagler Beach and Jacksonville. There's only 10 miles of it left that is actually brick. Um, and I'm gonna get out here and I'll, I'll show you the brick and everything. It's really cool I've been wanting to do this for a while, so I just want to try it and uh, and see what it's like um, But it's a really it seems really cool um, So far this is what they consider Florida's ghost road um, this road has been abandoned for years and it gets very rarely traveled so we're gonna um, get out here and and just see what's along this road so stick with me now this is really cool through here it's neat because you can still see the old curbing on either side it's just wide enough for one car they said it was built for like the old model t's so it's just wide enough for one vehicle. It's neat because this whole section used to be 
little communities and towns. And now it's all just been abandoned and they rerouted the road. So here's a prime example of what I was talking about as far as uh, human trash. This road this road has been here since the early 1900s. Um, it was it's a beautiful road. I mean it's abandoned now. It's an old brick road. But look this is what some scumbag has done but this is a prime example of what I'm talking about we're way out here in the middle of nowhere now on an abandoned road and you come across stuff like this um, it sucks that somebody would do that but it's also an opportunity for someone who needs it who may be in a survival situation so you always have to look out for um, possible solutions and possible um, you know materials to work with so um, I'm gonna hop back in the truck we'll head down the road a little ways and see what else we can find let's go
unfortunately there's not enough left down this old road to make it interesting to a lot of people um, very bumpy I can tell you that a lot of the stuff that used to be down this road the old houses and the old buildings and they're all gone not a lot of them I mean they're all gone there's nothing left um, the only thing down this road is the road um, and it's all hunting woods I just passed the gentleman and talked to him and he said it's really been nothing but hunting woods down this road for the last 45 years just about um, so it's a historic road it's really neat um, it's still interesting to me but it may not be to a lot of people so you watch this video you make your own determination on whether or not it's something that you would be interested in doing but it's pretty cool um, had a I've had a tough time trying to find somewhere to to do my trash bag twine everywhere I want to pull off to set up and do it is underwater um, everything off the side of this road is still swamp uh, they've been getting a lot of rain over here and and everything and I don't know you can I'll show you I mean the clouds are building up again so um, there's areas down this road that are underwater that are have water crossing the road so it's definitely um, a challenging road I wouldn't wouldn't necessarily bring a little car down it um, you could do it but it's just not gonna be the easiest thing to do um, but anyway I'm gonna see if I can find somewhere for me to stop and do the trash bag twine if not I have another plan so um, anyway I'll catch back up with you in a little while. Well, what have we got here? little pygmy rattlesnake ladies and gentlemen trying to scare me Well guys, we've made it to the other end of the old brick road, uh, also known as the old Dixie Highway. Um, they call it the Ghost Road of Florida. Um, not really sure why they call it the Ghost Road. There's really nothing on the road, um, just just the road. Um, they say it's an old forgotten road not really forgotten there's some traffic on it I passed a few vehicles today um, not a lot but a few um, haven't really been able to find a good place to to sit down and do the the trash bag twine on the road here and um, but I've got one more idea that might turn out pretty cool so um, the funny thing is it's just a, a short little video but if you stuck with me this long, stick with me for a few more minutes. Let's go see if we can find a cool place to make this trash bag twine. Hang on. 
Now one other thing I should tell you is I started on the end at Espanola, Florida. Um, this brings you out um, on the other end close to St. Augustine on County Road 204. At this end it's called County Road 204 and looks like Old Brick Road. So if you're looking for it, that's going to be um, the easiest way to find it depending on where you're coming from. But it was not the easiest thing to actually just Google and come up with an address on how to get there. Um, I'll turn you around here and show you this sign. So, anyway, now let's go, um, we're going to hop on the highway here, I've got an idea on where we can go and do our trash bag climb, so let's head over and do that now. Alright, did you really think that I was going to come all the way to St. Augustine and not bring you guys to the beach? Are you kidding me? beautiful out here it's not too hot it's got a nice breeze blowing uh, I'm glad that I went down the road um, by myself the first time you know it was to be honest a little anticlimactic it's awesome the history of it's awesome um, but I know it's not something for Sarah and my girls and that's why I did it um, a little disappointing that there's nothing left on the road except for the road there's no you know ruined buildings there's no there's nothing left out there it's all hunting forest or just you know pine trees um, if you're into Florida history I mean it was definitely a, a beautiful place to go um, but it's just, it wouldn't be for them, so I'm glad I went ahead and did that. Now, I need to find me a place um, to show you what I actually came here for, um, which is to show you how to make my trash bag climb. So let me get set up, and then I will uh, show you what we're talking about. Okay, guys. Um, Hopefully you can see me here. I'm trying to get out of the glare of the sun. Uh, it's not the greatest. Um, Alright. So. I'll tell you what's up here. When you get your trash bag. You're going to want to cut about. An uh, inch and a half. To an inch strip. Out of your trash bag. This is. Not the best right here see how it split off of there that's not the best that can add a weak part in there so what you're going to want to do you see you got it long like that you're going to want to fold that thing in half and put your other loop down there so we're going to put one stick through both of those loops like like that man that's, the light sucks here um, and then you're going to want to put another stick through this end like that. Now I'm going to try to get this thing set up in a way where we can, where I can video it and you'll be able to see what I'm, what I'm actually doing here. So, uh, let me reposition and then I'll come right back. Okay. I'm using these bars just to anchor this um, to hold it in place you could use tree limbs or you could actually hook this around a limb itself but what you want to do to start with is you're going to twist this thing and as you're twisting it you're going to want to twist it and try to push any air that might be in it out So we're going to keep twisting it until we get it 
nice and tight. Now, I hope this wind is not messing up the audio. It's pretty breezy out here. See, you're gonna you're gonna want to kind of jump the gun on this thing, but don't do it. You need to twist it as I mean, super tight. It needs to be twisted. Now, when what's gonna happen? Actually, I'm gonna pull that piece off of there because I know that's gonna be a problem, and I'm putting it in my pocket. So you're going to twist this thing and you want it to tighten up here and here. So you want to twist it and I don't know if this is actually going to work here or not because of the these poles being slick. It might slide on me. But as you can see, I've got this thing nice and tight. I'm going to keep twisting it. Now this is, like I said, this is called trash bag twine. So once you get as tight as you want, you don't want to pull on this thing super hard and super fast. You want to pull it slow and even. And as you can see, it's starting to stretch right here. So I'm gonna tighten that up a little more. And you're just going to slowly pull it and what's going to happen is this will actually stretch and it's actually doing it right here if you can see that it's starting to stretch it and when it stretches like that it actually welds together this piece so we're gonna get it tighter again if we can and this is not the optimum conditions to do this but you're just going to keep pulling it kind of want to keep that thing stretched out this is going to be a problem right here too because of that We may try another piece just to see. And you just want to pull it real slow. And as you pull it, it's slowly welding itself together. Now, this section right here is going to be a problem. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here and I'm gonna take a wrap on it and grab it right here. And I'm gonna try to weld that section right there. But, you know, it's, it's loose, so that's probably not gonna work now. Um, but you get, the, you get the idea, and this takes some time. It takes some practice to get good at this. So, that's just a general idea, but as you can see, that's welded together and it's actually very strong. Now, you can braid this into bigger cordage, or you can take and do a reverse twist. So you, what you would do is you're going to keep twisting it until it folds over on itself, like that. Once it folds over on itself, you're going to hold that point in your hand and you're going to twist away with this hand you're going to grab it and loop backwards and you're going to hold that twist away grab it 
the more you do this, the better you'll get at it. And this can be done with uh, some tree barks, inner tree barks, if they're pliable enough. There's a lot of things you can do this with. And I know everybody's going to say, oh, well, that's just a short piece. But this is just a short video. You, you could do a ton of this easily. And if you're sitting around the fire at night and you don't have anything else to do, or you're sitting around and you definitely need some cordage, well, I mean, this is like work, man. You got to get it done. So... What you would do is you would have this piece going and then you're eventually you're going to end up with see that nice piece of cordage and that's super strong there i mean that's really strong but you're going to end up with a short end and a longer end now what you're going to do is you would wrap another piece along this section and integrate it in as you're going so you would put it in there twist it and as you keep doing that it will end up wrapped right through this piece and it won't right through this area here and it won't be a weak section so you're going to keep it going And just that easy, you have a little piece of rope or a piece of twine. Now this, this is what I consider the trash bag twine. Um, there's a lot of people out there that do it and there's other ways to do it. And I you know, suggest you go out and look at other videos and find a way that you think works best. This works good for me. And I think it's, you know, it's a great way to do it. So. Um, hopefully this helps you um, I know this is just a, a short little video on how to make the twine and a lot of video on the driving and all that stuff but really this was a road trip with the trash bag twine added in it um, so right now I'm gonna go ahead and walk around a little bit enjoy the beach and then I've got a meeting to go to here in just a little while thanks for watching the videos if you like them like subscribe share them comment on them please and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot.